Hello and welcome to PSD Touch Plus. My name is Martin Pehiniak, and today I'm going to show you how to use Mini Bridge in Photoshop. Bridge is a very useful application, and I talked about it several times here on PSD Touch, but today I'm going to talk about Mini Bridge, which is an extension or a panel in Photoshop, and you can find it under the window extensions. So there's Mini Bridge. And this panel is actually useful even for those who already use Bridge because you can have a more streamlined workflow uh, finding your images, just staying directly in Photoshop and using a small version of Bridge. Most of the times I also use Bridge uh, while having Mini Bridge open in Photoshop. But let me just show you what are the most useful things that you can do here inside Photoshop with Mini Bridge. First of all, where to put it. You can always place it wherever you want. What I prefer to do is to keep it as a floating panel because I can very easily move it around and probably keep it also here uh, close to the top. You can even move it even further up because I have a very uh, small resolution uh, set to my screen for the recording I don't have much space but still it is enough to see uh, all these images in this folder so for example if I want to work on my image I can just simply double click on the word mini bridge and I can still see everything I can zoom closer to the image and work and when I want to see mini bridge again I just click on the uh, tab once more and it opens up so it's like an accordion closes and opens that's very useful and I, I found this the most convenient way to to use this panel now we can change quite a lot of things here but first before we start using it I would like to show you how to connect mini bridge with bridge so if I click on the bridge icon here that means reveal in bridge and it will show exactly the same folder in bridge now if I go into another folder, let's just say combine group, and then I click on this little boomerang here, it will return to Photoshop, but not only return, but also switch to that folder inside the mini bridge panel. So clicking on the bridge icon here and the boomerang in bridge gives you a um, direct connection between these two uh, versions of bridge. Now, if I want to go back and forth in mini bridge I can either use these arrows here or I can use the keyboard shortcut command or control right and left arrows that goes forward and back in history of your uh, browsing on your computer there are several options here what we can show on the top part of bridge which is called by the way navigation pod so we can always hide that from the drop down menu of the panel so I can hide the navigation part or show it again and there's also uh, the option to hide the toolbar and show it again so you can decide whether you need these or not I prefer to use them but you can always decide how much space you want to give for the navigation part and the um, thumbnails so the navigation part has a very useful feature you can decide what to see there you can either show your favorites which you can set up either here or in bridge um, or you can see the computer or you can also see recent files or recent folders and even collections and these are very useful options let me just show you what does it mean if I choose recent files so recent files will give me the option to choose which application I'm interested in so recent files for Photoshop for example then I will get a list of the files from all around my computer that I recently opened in Photoshop and worked on so that's a really cool feature so I can go down and see recently all the files I opened up in Photoshop if I want to go back to the previous uh, folder where I was browsing I can just press command left or click on the arrow on the top you can even choose recent folders so not just recent files and then here you will see a list of the folders that you recently visited that's also very useful uh, let me just go back again to the previous folder where we were we can also change the size of the thumbnails by dragging this little slider at the bottom and if we make them small enough it will automatically hide the names of the files but we can also change what we want to see below each thumbnail by clicking on the view options 
show and here we can decide maybe instead of the file name we would like to see the dimensions or let's just see what else we can show there we can show also the document type so there are many useful things here and if we decide we can also choose not to see anything so just the thumbnails even if we have them bigger if we want if we don't want to see any additional information we can choose not to you can filter here in Minibridge as well. If you edit star ratings or uh, color labels, you can use those. So uh, from the filter items by rating options, we can choose, let's just say, show five star images. And that will be my five, five star image. By the way, in the show options, we can always check uh, the labels and ratings. And if the thumbnail is big enough, we will see them. And um, I can clip the filter here on the top and instead of the star ratings I am going to show only the labeled items and then we can see another item which was labeled so a quick way to access the labeled or uh, rated files in your folders and if you want to clear the filter once again just click here clear filter we have another useful option which we can access uh, also from Bridge, but here in MiniBridge it's available. When you have an image selected, you can just press space to have a full screen preview. And using right and left arrows, you can go through these images. And when you press escape or space, you uh, go back to MiniBridge. Another option which we have here is called the uh, review mode, which you can find under the view options there's review mode which will give you a carousel view in which you can press right and left arrows to go around and check the images or just click on any of them and whichever you don't need you can press down arrow and then you will just uh, have the images selected that you probably want to work with here in mini bridge you can also create a collection out of these so you can click on uh, create a collection or when you press escape Minibridge will keep those images selected whichever was visible in the review mode. Even if you don't have uh, anything visible below the images, whenever you hover over an image, you will get a pop-up with the name of the file. Another great feature is the search option, which you can set up how to uh, use. The uh, default option is to uh, just search in the current folder, but you can use the Spotlight uh, feature on Mac. So I usually use Spotlight Search Computer, and that means if I type in something here, let's just say I type in out of uh, bounds, the way I usually say file names is like this, and then press enter, it will find all the files on my computer with the name out of bounds. So you can see I use this name several times and the best thing is that you didn't leave Photoshop so if you want to have a look at these images you can just simply click on them, press space and you get a full preview. So you can press right and left arrows here as well to see all these results in a full uh, preview and if you double click on an image obviously Minibridge will open it up for you. I can clear the search results and then I will go back straight to my previous folder but next time if I want to search for the same thing again I can just choose it from the recent searches but you can also clear this recent search menu if you want to. Now how can we open the images from Minibridge? Probably one of the most important features. First of all we can drag and drop an image so if I want to use another image on top of this, I can just drag and drop it. So maybe select this one, drag and drop, and it will come in as a smart object, which if I press enter, it will be already added and I can always make changes to it. By the way, if you have a smart object, you can go to edit free transform and see the percentage of the actual image compared to the original size of this image. So you can see it's only 7% of the original size. So it's so much bigger, the original image, but at the moment we are only using 7% of the original size. And that's something you can always check if you have a smart object. Another thing we can do is to combine images very easily using Minibridge. So let me just close this uh, document now and I'm going to uh, choose a folder where I have four images. I'm going to select all four of them and then right click, choose Photoshop and choose load files into Photoshop layers. Once I let go uh, and I clicked on it, 
Photoshop will create a document with all these four images and it will even name the layers uh, with the original file names. So that's another very fast way to merge images using Minibridge. And uh, there are other options as well under the Photoshop options. You can use batch image processor to quickly resize or convert images. You can merge them to a HDR image or uh, using photo merge for panoramic alignment and merging images. So there are many useful options here that you can use to make the most of Minibridge. And before I finish this tutorial, I'm going to just give you a couple of bonus tips uh, about how to work with these images in this document. Um, if I want to show all four next to each other, I would probably need to increase the canvas. For that, a very fast way is using the image menu, choosing canvas size, and here we can change the canvas uh, relative or the original size. And what we can choose instead of pixels is percentage. So we can choose percentage and we can type in 400 for the width. If I click on OK, that will increase the size of the canvas. And because I had four images, that means now I will have enough canvas, exactly the same size what I need to fit these four images into the canvas. So I can easily move them around. But what I can also do is just move one on the left and the other one on the right like that and then select all four of them so shift click and select them and then click on this option distribute horizontal centers here in the options bar so that will fit the images next to each other what if you do this a little bit different way and you use the crop tool that's also another option you can use if I increase the size of the canvas I can do that with the crop tool as well but what if I don't need that extra part here on the right I can always go to the image menu and choose trim and then just simply uh, trim the transparent pixels click on OK and then the canvas will snap to the actual content on my layers and the same applies to that when we have a layer outside of our canvas let's just say there and we want to find it we can just choose image reveal all and that it will show everything so uh, whatever is on our layers will be visible if you use this option so these are just a couple of uh, additional tips but remember Minibridge is very useful to streamline your workflow whenever you have to work with more images and you want to find them quickly on your computer Thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time here on PSD Touch Plus.